building for the future. Barack Obama recently pledged $8 billion in federal support for a national network of high-speed rail, trains that can carry passengers at speeds in excess of 150 miles per hour. But the super train fantasy is a mistake for at least three reasons. We're providing $8 billion in seed money. That $8 billion won't come close to funding the national plan which CNN reports could cost over $500 billion. Rail projects, like most government-funded extravaganzas, have a funny way of ballooning in cost. In less than two years' time, for instance, cost estimates for California's planned bullet trains between Los Angeles and the Bay Area have increased by a third, up to about $43 billion. Some estimates say that by the time the Golden State project is completed in 2020, it'll cost more than $100 billion. We're going to be taking cars off of congested highways, reducing carbon emissions. Because high-speed rail is designed to carry people from city to city, it won't have any effect on urban traffic congestion, which mostly takes place within a given metro area. Think about it. Flying from Boston to New York doesn't reduce inbound traffic at the Lincoln Tunnel. Neither will taking a high-speed train. And don't confuse high-speed rail with magic carpets that run on newfangled clean energy. All but two of the proposed lines run on diesel. Having made over 7,900 round trips, literally, on Amtrak, 250 miles a day, I am very familiar with rate. Amtrak is a notorious money pit, costing taxpayers at least $35 billion in handouts. Its per-passenger subsidies average about $50 per ticket. 140 million people schlep to work each Monday through Friday. Amtrak carries just 78,000 people per day. And the overseas experience isn't all that great either. Only two bullet train lines, one in France and one in Japan, have recovered their capital costs, and all of them require massive ongoing subsidies from taxpayers. If we're looking to reduce traffic congestion and travel delays, it makes more sense to build more roads and to increase the number of airplane flights by modernizing the air traffic control system. Bullet trains may be fun to talk about, but don't expect them to carry you or the United States into the future anytime soon. I'm excited. I'm going to come back down here and ride it. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.